Let us now look at the next two questions, both of which are based on in center of a triangle. Example 10. If I is the in center of triangle ABC and angle A 60 degrees, then find the value of angle BIC. Now, if you have followed the point that we have discussed uh, during in center, you will be able to mark the answer for this question without even drawing any diagram. Right? The point here is the angle made by any side with the in center will be equal to 90 degrees plus half of the vertical angle. Right? So I can say the answer here will be 90 degrees plus, see for the side BC, the angle made with the in center is to be calculated. So this angle will be 90 degrees plus half of vertical angle. The vertical angle for side BC will be angle A. Half of angle A is 30. So 90 plus 30, 120 would be the answer. Right? However, if you consider the diagram here, let's say ABC is the triangle right? and I is the in center. So the angle made by any side, right? the side BC with the in center I, right? angle BIC will be equal to 90 degrees plus half of the vertical angle. The vertical angle is angle A. So angle A by 2. Now we know that angle A is 60 degrees. Substitute here. So we get 90 degrees plus 60 degrees by 2 which is 120 degrees. So that's your answer. So a single step uh, solution here. Just need to remember that the angle made by any side with the in center is 90 degrees plus half the vertical angle. Let's look at the next one. The external bisectors of angle B and angle C of a triangle ABC meet at a point P. If angle BAC is 80 degrees, then find angle BPC. Now this again is a similar question, but the point here is we are looking at external bisectors. And we have already discussed this uh, during our discussion of in-center. Right? Here again, without even drawing the diagram or the triangle, you can mark the answer. The point is that the angle made by any side with the point of intersection of its external angle bisectors will be equal to 90 degrees minus half of the vertical angle. So 90 degrees minus half of vertical angle here is 80, right? Angle Vertical angle is 80, half of vertical angle 40. 90 minus 40, 50 would be the answer. Again, let's just consider the diagram for your clarity here. Let's say ABC is the triangle. ABC is the triangle, right? Now angle BAC is 80, which is nothing but angle A here. 80 degrees. Now it says the external bisectors of angle B and angle C. So if you extend this line AB and consider the external bisector of angle B, right? This is the external angle B and its bisector. Likewise, if you extend the line AC and consider the external bisector of angle C, these two meet at point P, right? These two meet at the point P. Now we need to find out angle BPC, angle BPC. Now from our discussion, you know that angle BPC will be 90 degrees minus half of the vertical angle, half of vertical angle A here. So we can say it is 90 degrees minus half of uh, vertical angle is 80 degrees, which is 90 minus 40, 50 degrees. So that's the answer. So make sure that you remember all these important points relevant to, related to in center, circumcenter, ortho center and centroid, so that answering these type of questions based on any of these centers would become a cakewalk.